Hello, Special Olympics Newfoundland and Labrador members. Special Olympics Canada has developed a self-registration online portal that allows members to review and edit member information, such as addresses, dietary, and medical information, as well as sign up for programs. This year, SONL is delighted to have two clubs pilot the portal self-registration system, Mount Pearl and CBS Bright Stars. Today, we will go through the process for a returning volunteer and how you can go about self-registering for your sports for this program. If you are also a parent or guardian and would like to link your athlete's profile to yours, please exit this video and follow the instructions for parent guardian. Prior to registering this year, you will be receiving an email from your club. This email will contain the link to reach the self-registration system, portal.specialolympics.ca. I will click the link on the provided document and head there now. Welcome to Special Olympics Membership Portal. Please look to the right-hand side of the screen. Find Registration and click. As we are doing a returning member, please fill out the information exactly as you have previously registered with Special Olympics Newfoundland Labrador. Your chapter, SO Newfoundland and Labrador. For today's purposes, my first name is Test. Last name, Volunteer. Fill in your date of birth, month, day, year, and your email address. Remember, this must match exactly what you have registered with SONL in the past. Tell us who you are. We're doing a returning volunteer. Remember, if you're also a parent guardian and would like to link your profile to your athletes, choose Parent Guardian and go watch the video for Parent Guardian Registration. Click Register Validate Member. A note came up, Profile Found. We have found your profile in our system. Please check your email for a link to complete the portal registration and continue with your enrollment. If a note came off that said profile not found, but you were expecting to be in the system, please call the office at 709-738-1923. Now we're going to navigate over to our email to find our link. If you check your email inbox and you don't see an email from Special Olympics, try your junk mail. Everyone has different privacy settings. Click your link. Verify your email. Create a password. And register. Click the red button. Every time you enter the portal, you'll go to the My Roles landing page. We don't need to do anything on this page today. As we are re-registering for the year, it's always best to start at My Profile. Look for the blue menu on the right-hand side of the screen and click My Profile on top. You'll see Profile, Addresses, Medical Info, emergency contacts, training, participant profile, which we won't need, and the volunteer profile. Now we're going to check and update all of our information. Check for your birth date and your sex. Anything with a red asterisk is mandatory to complete your profile. You'll notice some boxes have a pop-up. This is volunteer information that you can fill in for Special Olympics. Scroll down. 
you'll see the contact info. This is extremely important to be correct. Make sure your email address, your phone number, and if you have a cell number, is on file. Another one that is mandatory with marked with the red asterisk is primary language preference. Choose which one you would like. Scroll to the top of the page and click addresses. If you have moved, update your address. I'm going to live at 5 Rhodes Place. Now, all you need to do is highlight and delete. Click on medical information. Make sure your MCP number is under healthcare card. Issue by Newfoundland Labrador. And then you can add in your expiry date. There are some fields that are mandatory, as in medications and doses. Write in none if you do not take any medications. Fill in any information that may be needed in the event of emergency at our programs. Remember, anything marked with a red asterisk is mandatory to be filled out. Next, click Emergency Contacts. If something were to happen at a program, who's the first person we want to call? I'm going to say first name test and last name test spouse. The next asterisk is my spouse partner. What relationship? Primary phone number, how are we going to get a hold of them? And then priority. This is the first person I want you to call. If you choose, you can add a secondary contact. This time I'll add test child, first name, last name. This time the relationship is my child and I need to add in a phone number. And priority secondary, click submit. And we're moving on to the training tab. Press add. As all coaches this year need to complete the COVID course, you can choose other course right in the Corona virus outbreak. What you need to know. And I'm going to say I completed this course yesterday. Submit. If you are a coach with our program, you should also have completed one of our Special Olympics coaching courses. Are you certified? And you can fill in your coaching certification number here if you choose. If you remember the date that you did your course, great information to fill in. and click Submit. We're not a participant because we're filling out our volunteer. Returning volunteer, click your profile and your name should come up. Click your red, click the little pencil. Reason joined, shirt size, all information that may be great for your club to know. ALP, Athlete Leader Program Mentor. And please, if you are a coach with our program, fill out your NCCP number under Coach Certification Number. Returning volunteers do not need to re provide references, only new volunteers. Click the red Submit button. We have updated all of our tabs. So scroll down and press submit. You'll notice that you're back to the My Roles landing page. Now that our profile is complete, 
we're going to look at the blue menu and add me as a volunteer. Test volunteer. Do you have guardianship over yourself? Are you able to sign for yourself when renting an apartment or opening a bank account? Junior coaches volunteers will have to say no and have their parents complete their waivers for them. Next step, waivers. If you said no to guardianship over yourself, you need to view the printable waiver, print it and have it signed by your legal guardian and return to the head coach before you participate in our programming. If you do have guardianship over yourself, read the full waiver. And click I agree. Read the full waiver. And choose I agree. Do you have a criminal record as outlined in the waiver? Select your answer. Media release opt out. Read your options and select which one you'd like. Include on mailing list. Allow contact regarding Special Olympics activities. The code of conduct will read and then accept. Next step, program search. We only fill in the first three fields here. Special Olympics Newfoundland Labrador for chapter. Region 2, Mount Pearl South. Community, Mount Pearl. Press the red search button. Scroll down. I'll join athletics this year. Currently, you can only register for one sport at a time, but you certainly can register for more than one. Next step, enrollment. I'm just double checking that I've chosen the correct community club, Mount Pearl Athletics. Here's when we choose our category and our role. The majority of our volunteers will either be a coach or a program volunteer. A coach has two different designations, an assistant coach or a head coach. In order to be a coach, you should have filled in your NCCP number and have completed a Special Olympics coaching course. Head coaches run the program. Assisting coaches help the head coach run the program. Or maybe you're a program volunteer. Choose program and you'll see different roles here. This is where you can find our junior coaching volunteer those who are with us that are under 18 years old, and our program volunteer, those individuals who come out and follow the directions of the head coach to help the athletes succeed. If you don't know what role you're interested in, please tell us your area of interest below and your club will get back to you. Submit enrollment. A note should come up, application submitted. Thank you for filling out your application. An email has been sent to the email account provided with the details of this enrollment. Please be aware that a final review and approval is required by Special Olympics. Once your application has been approved, you will receive another notification email. Now you can go to new enrollment to add another sport. It will bring you back to the program search page. This time, I'll add myself to Mount Pearl Skiing. Click the red next step button. Scroll down and choose your category and role. Coaches have an NCCP number, 
and head coaches run the program. Click Submit Enrollment. Application Submitted. Now you can either choose to add a third sport or you can go to My Enrollments. This will show you that you have submitted your skiing request as well as your athletics re request. And it shows me that I was Mount Pearl Bocce last year. You're all done for the year. Press log out. Thank you very much for using the new Special Olympics self-portal registration system.